Kia ora and welcome back to Breakfast. It is 16 to 9. If you live in Palmerston North, get ready for five days of glam performances and most importantly, drag. The Palmy Drag Fest is returning for its fourth year starting today where more than 20 kings and queens will be slaying the stage. For more, we're joined by organisers Ruba Rouge and Miss Gina. Good morning to you both. Kia ora. Uh, How are you, darling? Oh, I'm great. Ruba Rouge, four years this show has been going uh, on in Palmy. I know, Palmy out of all places. Places. Yeah, how, why Palmy? Because Palmy is fabulous. I love that city. People might, you know, give stuff about Palmy that you just drive through, but it's actually a fabulous place with lots of art. And I was living in Melbourne doing drag. They moved to Palmy and there wasn't much drag and the drag wasn't to the highest standard. And I thought, well, why not bring my friends to come and have fun? And they can learn from each other. Yeah, I love that. Miss Gina, you're over there. It's I'm like, know. Rhubarb is being too shady for this time in the morning. Yes. <laughs> this is your third year. You'll be, this is your yeah. third year that you'll be involved in the Palmy yeah. Drag show. What What is it about it that keeps you going back? Oh, well, getting to perform with my besties and my sisters, obviously. Yeah, but, but it's definitely the crowds and the people down there in these smaller areas of New Zealand that don't get to see drag very often. So it's not just Palmy as the city. You've got all the smaller towns. All these people come in. They see drag queens, drag kings. And drag is such an amazing art form where we just get to take people away from their real life yeah. for a second and just celebrate the amazing things that this world has to offer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, has the has the crowd grown over time? How has the hugely? So we first started as a small show in 2021 with only about 300 seats, mm. and then we thought, well, let's go bigger. And then literally for the past three years, we sold out 1,500 tickets, and we have Amazing. people coming from Australia. I think last year we had someone from the UK. It's been growing every year. And then I got bored because I made HD, and I thought. Well, why not go from a show and do a whole festival? I love it. Like we've got a brunch as well on a Sunday. Drag brunch, drag bingo. It's five days of different activities and fabulous time. Yeah, uh, what are the crowds like, Miss Gina? Because, you know, you, you, drag may not necessarily be uh, a lot of people's cup of tea. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so what have people been like, those that have come to see, yeah. um, you know, the show, first of all, yeah. Well, yeah, as I was saying, like, people don't get to see drag for, yeah. like, in Auckland and Wellington, you can see drag every weekend. And in these smaller places, it's maybe once a year. So it's just this massive celebration and people are so passionate. And we feel like royalty showing up in these small towns. And it's just so amazing because the fact that I get to dress up and do what I love for a job and make other people smile, it's like, it's such a rewarding career. Yeah. yeah. Well, what can people who are uh, potential newbies, uh, that will come along, what can they expect? It's a fabulous spectacle. My dream is to make like wow in Wellington. Yeah. Started in a small town in Nelson and then moved to Wellington. My dream is to make Palmy the wow of drag. So it's a real spectacle. We have live singing, we have dancing, acrobatics. There's a little bit of everything and it's a real show and it's fun and it's a time that people can entertain and be themselves because you see like never in Palmerston North or around New Zealand I've seen people dancing and voguing down the aisles of a theatre and just living their best life mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about people being who they are and being free to be happy in themselves. Yeah Miss Gina in terms of you know different attitudes uh, that people may have towards drag mm -hmm. do you think that's changing or how does this show help change that yeah. attitude? It's interesting because, I mean, drag has been around forever. Yeah. It's been around for centuries within the theatre space, right? Um, and I think with drag becoming more of a mainstream thing now, we're in the public eye a lot more. And so it is bringing out that other side of things that people may not like about us. But like, we're just here to spread positivity, yeah. to say that you can be anyone you want to be. I like to say my drag is a love letter to woman, someone like my mother. Like, I love to get to dress up and be this incredible woman that I, that I am. Uh, I'm a trans woman out of drag. Drag, so drag helped me discover my own feminine uh -huh. side. And um, yeah, I just like being a diva, so. Uh... <laughs> One of the big things about Palmy Drag Fest <laughs> is that we do it not only for the entertainment and because, you know, we love being divas on stage, but to educate people yeah. that drag is an art form, that we are here to entertain, to be fabulous. And, you know, we don't dress up like this for three hours for nothing. <laughs> <laughs>
Because I imagine it takes a lot of work. Uh, I, I have not been this. awake since 3am. There you go. There you this go. This is my pyjamas. I literally just walked out of Sky City <laughs> Hotel and here we are. I trapped on a rubbish bin and, you know, Stop got it. like this. Stop it. Really. Um, so this has turned from a show into a festival. So when is it happening? How can people Starts get there? Starts today. Great. Uh, we have Drag Bingo. Then we have um, Spanky Jackson's solo show start opening tomorrow night. Then um, Friday we have Drag Story Time for the Adults Edition. Oh. And then we have the Rainbow Fair, which is a huge community event with over 50 stalls. And then the main event, which is the drag show, which to be honest, we nearly sold out. I think there's 50 tickets oh, left wow. out of 1,500. Yeah. Love it. Okay, well, thank you both so much for coming. No, here. thank go you. It's well been my dream festival. to be here. Oh, go you. Actually, where's the cheese that was here? Yeah, oh. we have some of that cheese back. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, that wasn't Good our luck. rider. I think Daniel <sighs> might have eaten the rest of it. Oh, uh, Rhubarb Rouge, Miss Gina. Love it. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Have a yes. wonderful time. At Come to the festival. <laughs> Tommy. Did you finish the cheese? Oh, I, yeah, the whole. I did. I finished the Go cheese. On. Sorry. Go you got to be quick in here. I tell you. I know. You've be really quick.